up and take your seat, Batman. The show's about to begin. Let's just talk about this. <laughs> now you want to talk. Too late, Batman. Give me the cure. But you've already got the cure. Yeah, seriously. <gasps> Tony, no! <gasps> Problem solved. You didn't need to. Why? You would never do it. You left me no choice. There's always a choice. I had to save you. Harley Quinn stole it for him. But he didn't use it? It's over. What's going on? Surprise! <laughs> Oh, no. So how do you keep a secret from the world's greatest detective? Well, do you know? You stick it right in front of him, right under his long, pointy nose. And wait! Joker wants you to think he's sick. Then wait! Gotcha! You fell for the old fake Joker gag, Batman! Tell you! Crap. I'm sorry, beloved. I didn't know. <laughs> Encore! More! Bravo! Oh, God! <laughs> oh, no! Was it never you? <laughs> Not always. Well, sometimes. <laughs> uh, confusing, isn't it? I know I'd want to know just what the hell is going on if I were you. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just say, at times like these, it's important to keep up. <laughs> <laughs> he is freaking terrifying. Would be so kind. Hand over my jaw. What the hell? Oh crap. Ladies and gentlemen, for one night only, standing in for yours truly, I'm doing a damn fine job of it. I give you God damn it. You even supposed to be in here, Carl. Why sign up with Joker? Well, he's so he's so calm right now. The role of a lifetime. One last chance. Oh, night, not that. The final act just starting. It's a doozy. Okay, final boss, Clayface. Yeah, I uh, know I was talking about the Rachel Gould twist not really working. Speaking of a twist that <laughs> that doesn't work, this one absolutely does. Cause holy crap, there there is such a stupid amount of foreshadowing about about this one coming, including probably one of the greatest Chekhov's gun lines, foreshadowing lines ever. You fell for the old fake Joker gag, Batman, which has. A double meaning, clearly. And uh, anyway, this this is the final boss, Clayface. Uh, <laughs> the Cl Clayface cosplaying as Joker. So anyway, this one is actually interesting in, in the fact that you actually don't want to uh, just keep punching him over and over again. The gimmick of this one is that you actually want to uh, just basically lob a million uh, a million uh, freeze grenades over and over and over again. Um, and also watch out for his terrifying attacks, including this death ball attack, which is really a terrifying. Oh, I keep getting hit by that second punch. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Peppa's not even looking at him. Look, Ma, no hands. Yeah, there we go. Nice. What are you doing? Oh, yes. <laughs> Batman really did enter the League of Assassins. Batman with a motherfucking sword. Oh crap. Oh crap. No 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 no. There we go. There we go. So I was just gonna say that's actually a hidden hidden. Batman's just 
strolling around. That's actually a hidden mechanic that the game never really tells you about, is that you can actually, um, you can actually, if you, uh, get him to, uh, to, uh, to fly right into, uh, these explosive barrels that are positioned all throughout the arena, you can actually get him to do a massive chunk of, uh, of damage to him. The only downside is it's a little bit... Oh, wow. We are covered in gunk right now. That is gross. There we go. Shit. As you can see, his, his attacks, like, cover, like, a pretty wide range. There we go. Okay, we actually got him again, though. Nice. Oh, what? Are you kidding me? No. Freeze. Freeze to death. Come on. There we go. There we go. Nice. Okay, chop him into bits, Batman! Oh, she yeah, is literally chopping him into bits! Pacifist run! We just decapitated a man! You're making me late for my spa treatment. I mean, it's not like you've got a girl to save anymore, is it? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Too soon. Would a change of scenery help you the <laughs> The comically big red button. Oh, crap. We probably should have been paying attention to that. <gasps> As if the Lazarus Pit is right underneath the Monarch Theater? Are you kidding me? Oh, shit. Not dead yet. Oh, thank God, it actually gave us some health back. Thank you, game. thank you. Okay, final phase of the final boss. Uh, yeah, Batman with a mother-fucking sword. <laughs> like, need I say more? This is absolutely ridiculous. It's insane. I don't think there's... Like, this is one of the, probably the most satisfying moments in the whole Arkham series. Like, this is just absolutely ridiculous right now, as you can see. Uh, do we actually have to freeze him at all, or... I think I think we just keep chopping, <laughs> chopping these guys to bits. There we go. Ow. <laughs> block, block. Oh, God. No. Yes. Okay, we can, o we can only throw... We can Ow, come on. Ow. No. Also, yeah, there's really gross gunk everywhere, as you can see. It's really gross. Also, Batman's punches actually have like significantly more range when he has the, uh, when he has the, uh, when he has the, uh, the free, uh, the katana. Please don't die. We're so close. Oh, really? No. It was the performance of a lifetime. That's a shame. I don't think I've ever actually <laughs> actually seen that before. That is a terrifying picture. Holy crap. That's a shame. Ow. Oh, there we go. Nice. Okay. We did a lot better that time. There we go. Ow. That is insanely hard to dodge. There we go. We got him, though. Jesus Christ. Freaking body whore. My God. Okay. Screw you, Glaze. <laughs> Eat this. Literally. <laughs> Dead. <laughs> Finn. Batman with a motherfucking sword, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Oh my god. Get out of my way, bats! I've got a date with immortality! <gasps> it's a good thing I, I just happen to know that throwing the sword in there would do that. Oh great, a mortal clay face. I mean, he probably couldn't already die anyway. Oh, well. <laughs> Quick, the cure. What were you waiting for? 
Come on! I killed your girlfriend, poisoned Gotham in hell. <laughs> it's not even breakfast. <laughs> For me, it was so Tuesday. Much. We all know your fate. Every decision you've ever made ends with death and misery. People die. I stop you. You'll just break out and do it again. <laughs> Think of it as a running <gasps> Oh. Are you happy now? You want to know something funny? Even after everything you've done, I would have saved you. <laughs> you know, that actually is pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. He finally had his last laugh. And it was a good one. Damn, even all his thugs are just like, oh, well, what do we do now? <laughs> There's a lot of explosions and sword fighting <laughs> and laughter. <sighs> Lots of laughter. And that's the game. <laughs> so yeah, totally quite a different ending than Asylum. That's for absolutely sure. Like our Asylum's ending was kind of a shit show that no one liked, to be honest. So they, aside with the whole whole Rachel Ghoul thing at the end, the, definitely this game ends with a, a much better bang than uh, than uh, Asylum. Uh, definitely leaves you leave, leaves on a really high note uh, and a very somber note too, because Joker's dead, man. <laughs> like that's you don't do that. You just don't do that. Oh God. But yeah, that is uh, that is Arkham City. Uh, what what a ride! This, we actually beat this uh, way faster than uh, I thought we did. Or than I thought we would have. Um, it's actually kind of surprising, really. Uh, oh well. Um, I I really was under the impression that it was actually a longer game than Arkham Asylum. But it really seems like if you're just doing the main story and like a tiny inkling of the side stuff then wow you really actually don't uh it's it's not actually about the same length as arkham asylum um if 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 a little shorter even i'm not sure at the total time but it's definitely i expected to be playing this game for a, a little longer uh, i i guess i intended to do a little bit more of the side stuff but the opportunity never presented itself and when it did it was like well we're already like we already have to infiltrate like wonder tower and stuff so this isn't a good time <laughs> Oh well. Um God, where do I even begin with this game? <laughs> this game is just like a such a, a huge like it, it it's basically just Arkham Asylum except it's done with practically improvements on all fronts. Like I don't think there's a single thing in this game that Arkham Asylum does better uh 
Well, give give me some moment to think about that, cause yeah, uh, this is interesting. You have one missed call. Call received three hours ago. God damn. <laughs> yeah, that's that's probably one of the one of the more memorable credit songs they've put uh, <laughs> I've ever seen in a game. Like there's something so like the ending itself is somber and that just adds like it it's it's almost haunting. <laughs> um, again, Mark Hamill's fantastic uh, performance as the as the horribly ill Joker in this game is uh, probably one of his finest, and this was his uh, this was his swan song. He said that he wasn't gonna do any more uh, Joker after this. Like this was this was his swan song. Which after playing the game, it's like he freaking dies in this game, so it makes sense. Uh, he he went out with one hell of a bang though. Let's let's just say that. Um, as for uh, the rest of the credits and me, my personal thoughts about this game, I'm going to actually uh, skip the credits because the, we're not actually done yet. Uh, so there's New Game Plus Unlocked. We got some alternate, alternative Batman outfits, including some really cool ones. Maybe I'll just show it off at the very end. But uh, yeah, uh, this game came with some DLC, remember? And uh, yeah. Uh, not Harley Quinn's Revenge. Screw that. We're not playing that crap. But uh, yeah, Catwoman is still a thing in this game. And now we get a bit of an epilogue. Okay, so. Uh, this is your uh, little miniature epilogue. Uh, I'm gonna be honest, I actually don't really like this section. Especially after the whole sad Joker thing. Where it's like, oh, now you get one kind of lame Catwoman section at the very very end so it, it kind of feels a little tacked on i guess it, it it makes sense in the context that you're going to still be exploring the open world because that was a really weird power slide there um it makes con sense within the context of like oh yeah you're gonna want to go back and explore all the side stuff because like batman's still in arkham city and he's still able to like explore the city it doesn't just it doesn't just uh, end your save file or anything sweet home oh crap Well, so much for nine lives. Is she dead? Hang on. She's waking up. Damn it. What have we got?
<laughs> Kill her again! Kill her again! That always works. Ow. Screw you. Oh, okay. There we go. Where are my things? Tell me, or I'll slice you apart, piece by piece. Two faces got him. He's at the museum. Okay. Thanks. Son of a bitch. So you decided to come crawling back then, huh? Pity. Oh well. Time for this kitten to teach you some manners once and for all. Okay, so yeah, Two Face is out for revenge on Catwoman for what she, uh, the humiliation that she caused at the very beginning of the game. So I kind of like that it has bookends because, like, you're beating up Two Face thugs at the very beginning and now you have to beat them up at the end. But again, uh, I, I don't really like the Catwoman sections in this game. It's, this is arguably the worst of the bunch just because of what preceded it. Anyway, so my thoughts on the main game. Again, this this game practically does everything better than Arkham Asylum. I think I think I think it has a better story than Arkham Asylum. Graphically, it's undeniable that this game is absolutely gorgeous when it came out in 2011 and considering the fact that it came out in 2011, it actually stands the test of time significantly well. It's actually it's actually quite surprising. Wow, we are really far away. Okay. Uh, and just, uh, again, uh, I said this at the very beginning, I didn't really go into it uh, again, but uh, the combat fluidity in this game is, if uh, it's really hard to tell, like, just looking at the footage, but trust me, if, you, if you've played, wow, that's a big climb, if you've played these games, then you absolutely know what I'm talking about. If you go from Asylum to City, the combat just straight up feels better. The, like, the punching, the timing, like, everything just feels a little bit more polished, a little more forgiving, but not in like a wow, this is really, really dumb and easy. Like for more forgiving in a in a better way, because again, like Asylum had a little bit of jank to the combat. I mean, it's definitely the it's definitely the worst the combat is in the Arkham series, but uh, in in Asylum in City, it's uh, such a huge improvement just m mechanic wise, uh, as as well as like the gadgets and stuff they added. Uh, they they add a, a little bit uh, a little bit to the mix. Okay, let's end this guy. Nice. Oh, that is... Please do that to me. <laughs> okay, into the museum. Okay. Um, so, yeah, let's just... Let's just make a bum rush right for... Right for where we're going, which is... Uh, pretty far in here, but oh well. Um, but again, just... Uh, like the, the combat is such a huge improvement again like every everything feels more fluid i know i know i sound like a broken record but it it, it really can't be stated enough um how much better it feels uh, as for the actual uh like the actual like game itself ob obviously uh we didn't spend as if i made that we didn't spend that much time playing the game it actually we beat this game surprisingly quick but if you're doing all the side missions and stuff then uh, you're you're playing this game for a significantly longer time than uh Arkham Asylum. Arkham Asylum is like a 10-hour game. Even if you're going for Riddler trophies, it's like 12 hours tops. And uh, in, uh, in in City, you're going to be spending like at least 30 hours uh, just doing all the side stuff. Anyway, so now we have a now we have the Gladiator Pit fight, except uh, the Catwoman variety. And uh, unfortunately, we don't have the, m the use of the multi-ground takedown to actually uh, aid us in this. So we're just going to have to beat him up the old-fashioned way. There we go. I, what the hell happened there? That was weird. Nice. Are you kidding me? Screw you, buddy. Damn it. That's a lot of corpses. Did that actually hit? Really? Damn it. <laughs> I can't win with you guys. 
<laughs> okay, there we go. I'm sorry, I'm just trying to get through this part as quickly as possible, because I don't want to be here all day. Oh, level up, sweet. Like, we really need it. You know what? Sure. Let's, uh, let's get something for Catwoman. Uh, special combo whiplash. Why the hell not? <laughs> Again, I don't know why you would buy Catwoman upgrades in the base game. It seems, it seems like such a waste. Anyway, uh, is this gonna be the frozen place? Wow, it really makes you go, like, all the way. That's really annoying. Okay, which, which direction is it? It's this way. Uh, control E, swing down. Uh, climb the ceiling. There we go. I wouldn't really say that's a ceiling at that point. It's more of a floor, but oh well. Uh, what else? Oh, the soundtrack. Uh, the soundtrack in the uh, in Arkham Asylum. Again, ev everything is an improvement over over Arkham Asylum. Um, but uh, the soundtrack, especially. This is. Uh, I said it before, and I'll say it again. This is. Hands down, the best soundtrack that the Arkham series has ever seen. It's really, really, really good in this game. That's the upgrade? What useless crap is that? Seriously, it didn't even knock anyone out. Wow, well, what a lame upgrade. Okay, is this the right way? Yes, it is. Finally. Grab two face and get the hell out of here. I love that health bar. That's incredible. Anyway, uh, during this final Predator mission, which uh, I don't remember being as difficult as that Hugo Strange one, but uh, as for the Predator combat, again, they, they definitely added uh, the probably the most to the Predator combat in this game. Uh, again, it just is... You have just a lot more options, and because everything is less jank in this game, it's just a lot more fun. You don't have to worry about... At... Can I not pounce on gargoyles? I thought I could. Um, it, it's just a lot less uh, jank that you have to worry about, which is, like... In, in Arkham Asylum, I felt like... They, they throw, like, really hard missions in Arkham Asylum, and you don't really have, like, the actual options to deal with in that game. But in this, you, you, do have, you have a lot more to, to actually work with. A lot of, in like, environmental stuff, like the, uh, like the electric panels and stuff, and um, there's more, more options. And the, the, again, the incredible orchestral score really gets you pumped when it's, uh, it's just blasting in your ear as you slowly take the guards out. That's, like, the prime, uh, that's the bread and butter of the Arkham series, so it's really cool when it, uh, when it does that in this. Okay, there's another silent takedown. Come on. Okay. Shit. There we go. Okay. Okay, at this point, I think we should probably go for Two-Face. There we go. Knock on Smash. There we go. Now we can pounce to the Gargoyles. Are you... How does she... How do they know where I am? The prayer missions are, are way, way better. He says, right as he gets caught. Okay, yeah, everyone just woke up, I think. That's ridiculous. Okay, now I remember one annoying thing about this. It's kind of like... You might as well just go for, uh, go for Two-Face because of this. Oh, seriously? Oh, we're gonna die. <laughs> That's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. We're gonna die. Okay. Um. Let's 
faster. I'm just trying to concentrate. Please, no. Seriously? That's not fair. That's not fair. That's not fair. Okay. I see what you're doing. How are you gonna use those things if they're not here? On now! Um okay, two pieces going over there. Okay, well this is problematic. How do you? What happened to the wall? What could have made a hole like that? Yes. Oh, we actually did it. Okay, nice. Sorry, Harv. Sorry, that print. Oh, those jugs. Holy crap! They're even jiggling. I'm sorry. I'm a pervert. Can you blame me? Look at what the game's doing. The rest I gave away. I win, bitch. Enough with wow, the they're actually... Already. There's straight-up jiggle physics. <laughs> it just keeps getting you into trouble. Anyway, so that's the final uh, Catwoman section dealt with. Again, really kind of, kind of a lame way to end the game, but oh well. Um... But yeah, after Catwoman, you're just thrown straight back uh, into the shoes of uh, Batman here. And you can actually explore the open world now. Uh, contextualized, which is cool. It doesn't just she's warp you back away, with uh, after exactly. the Joker and everything. There's still work to do here in Arkham City. Good luck with that. Some enterprising individuals decided to help themselves to my things. I intend to get it all. And she only puts on the goggles at the very end. Okay. A ringing telephone. Yeah, totally, Zaz. I'm totally going to help you out. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, now that you're in the shoes of Batman again, you can actually switch to Catwoman whenever you want, as long as you find a rooftop with a bunch of cats on them. And uh, you can find those locations uh, throughout the city. So, uh, yeah, you don't... So, like, there's only three points in the entire city, but, yeah. Um... That's pretty cool, and you can use that to grab all the Riddler trophies and stuff, obviously. But that actually does it for Arkham, uh, Arkham City. This has been going on far too long because that Catwoman section kind of drags at the very end. But again, uh, as, as far as this game is concerned, it's super goddamn great. It's super, super awesome. It's a massive improvement over Asylum, a game that was already very, very good in its own right. And uh, in my opinion, it just gets better with Arkham Knight. Arkham Knight is my favorite of the trilogy. I love, love, love love Arkham Knight is so so good so uh but uh, regardless of how you feel about Arkham Knight uh, it's it, you, you can't deny that how just incredible Arkham City is uh, what a what a fantastic sequel good job Rocksteady anyway with that this has been Turner 4590 and I will see you guys next time oh and you can play as animated Batman yeah <laughs> <laughs> it's as ridiculous as it looks. Yeah, uh, you definitely do that for New Game Plus and uh, and the post game. You can switch them out on the main menu uh, once you beat the game. Uh, yeah, <laughs> so cool. Okay, for real. See you guys next time.